favorite fruit juices. Deliciously refreshing, there's nothing quite like a koala. And only carefully selected gourmet quality spices go into every jar of Spice Islands. Trust every meal to Spice Islands. And get your whole wash fresh and clean at a refreshingly low price. Arm & Hammer laundry detergents, liquid or powder. From the freshness experts. The next five days, they'll demonstrate their knowledge as they compete for thousands of dollars in cash awards. It's time for the Tournament of Champions, and it all takes place right here on The Challengers. And now, here is your master of the challenge, Dick Clark. Hey, whoa. Boy, oh boy. Welcome to The Challengers. Uh, today marks the beginning of our fi five-day tournament of champions. I feel I ought to have a picture or a photo. It's like the graduating class here. You look great. Standing before you are nine competitors, and we're about to play three semifinal matches this week. Then the three winners will advance to our finals, which will be played on Thursday and Friday. Everyone keeps the money they earn, and the final champion will win an additional bonus of $25,000. So, folks, if you're ready... We'll catch up with some of you later on as the week progresses, and we'll hold on to three of you. You folks have won a ton of money. This is going to be a really good set of matches. Don, let's meet the first three players. Well, Dick, this champion won $66,830. He's marketing representative Russell Giles. And with $27,000 to her credit, this is flight attendant Maggie Baker. And with $15,600 in winnings, this is a dentist, Dr. Mark Ryder. <laughs> Good luck to all of you, folks. That's very, very impressive. And in just a moment, I'll reveal the categories for our first half of play. First of all, we play the sprint round. We take away all that good stuff, and now give you a paltry $200 to start all over again with. Needless to say, all that other money is yours, and the player with the most money at the end of the sprint will have the first selection from the category board. If you're all set to play, we'll set the timer at one minute right now and get underway. Here's the first one. Name the former president who explains in his new book of memoirs how he got the nickname Dutch. Russell? Ronald Reagan. Correct. What author, now 83, says that he will keep writing but plans no more geographical novels like Hawaii and Centennial? Russell? James Michener. Correct. Rebels are fighting for an independent Eritrea in what African country? Mark? Ethiopia. Correct. Name the Spanish band leader known as the Rumba King who passed away last month at the age of 90. Mark? Xavier Kugat. Correct. About 130,000 local inhabitants around the Chinese town of Chu Fu claim to be descendants of what great philosopher? Maggie? Confucius. Correct. The sentence, a $5,000 fine and six months in prison for drug possession. The place, Washington, D.C. Name that convicted city official. Russell. Marion Barry. Correct. What New York newspaper was recently hit by a labor strike? Maggie? Daily News. Correct. What South American nation has the largest number of ro... I'll repeat the whole question, you'll all be able to answer. What South American nation has the largest number of Roman Catholics in the world? Mark? Brazil? Brazil is right now. <laughs> Got ourselves a tie here between Russell and Mark. I'll throw you one more question, gentlemen. Maggie, hang in for a second. We'll let the guys go after this one. Uh, what is the official language of Brazil? Mark? Portuguese. Portuguese is right. You've taken control of the game. And all the money you earn today, remember, goes into your Citibank Visa account and the cash and the benefits in the account are yours to keep. We're all set to play the first half. By the way, there's been a rule change. The only time you'll be able to answer your opponent's missed question is when all three of you go for the same question. If you're ready, let's turn to the board and consider them. We have Hey Mister, Movies Now Playing, All About Argentina, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Nicknames, and Sevens Up. Mark? Let's go with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. By the way, all of the questions in this category are based on the new inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the first one worth $150 deals with groups. And we have duos and solo artists. The higher the value, the more difficult the question, if you will. Place your wager. And uh, let's see. We'll go with you, Maggie, first off for $200. 
What's the last name of the Hall of Fame duo whose backup vocalists were called the Icats? I can see your turn it. You got it for $200. Mark and Russell for $250. What's your name if you were just elected to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and your first hit was In the Midnight Hour? Russell? Wilson Pickett. Wilson Pickett is correct for $250. You have the choice of the remaining five. Let's go with movies now playing. All right, check it out for $150. Comedy and satire and romance. And it's time to place your wager. Oh, it's a three-way race. That means a double good value goes up there to $400 on satire. Stand by all three of you now. The movie Repossessed is a comic takeoff on the classic film The Exorcist. Name the actress who stars in both films. Mark? Linda Blair. Linda Blair is right for $400. And it chase these other two questions, you can sweep the board, and it's worth $1,200. Let's go comedy. Comedy for $300. Barbara Hershey, as sweet as her name, stars in the new film comedy Tune In Tomorrow, with what actor known for his characterization of TV's Columbo? Uh, Peter Falk. Yes. <laughs> we, got, we got more than we paid for. Do you want to go for that last one? Hmm. Let's go romance. Oh, it's worth $500. The new film White Palace is the story of a romance between an older woman and a younger man. The woman is Susan Sarandon, who plays the younger man. Spader. That is correct. You swept the board for twelve hundred dollars. Bounces you right up there to thirteen hundred off the bat. Very nicely done. And in just a second, I would like to remind you of one thing. Take a moment. Between uh, November eleventh and November seventeenth, we have National Geography Awareness Week. This year's theme is Geography: Window of a Changing World. Focuses on current events and geography. We'll be back in just a moment to continue our game right here on the channel. When you, when you hit the ultimate challenge, what was the reaction of your friends and family? Well, I, I discovered a vast amount of relatives that I people who needed had money previously. <laughs> Quick loan people. Yeah. Maggie, you travel a great deal. You're a travel a flight attendant to where are you based? I'm based in Honolulu, live in Los Angeles, fly mostly Pacific. How many thousand miles have you done? I haven't a clue. Don't count them years. <laughs> Too many. Pay. I'm over six million at this point. Mark, you teach dental students. What do they react to when you want? Well, about half of them took off to watch the show, and so uh, anybody who's watching today, uh, watch the show and then get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> and we're counting noses right now. All right, let's see where we stand now. Mark, you are out in front with $1,800. Russell and Maggie sort of neck and neck there, and we'll continue the game right now. These are the subjects over here. Where would you like to go, Mark? Let's go uh, nicknames. Nicknames it is. Uh, sports and music and business. Higher the value, the tougher the question. Wagering time. And Mark, all right, I thought for a minute everybody's going to take one. We'll go for the $200 question. Russell and Mark, stand by for that one. Elvis was the king. Who's the killer? Mark? Jerry Lee Lewis. You're right, sir. For $250, Maggie, what giant company famous for its personal computers is known around Wall Street as Big Blue? IBM. That's correct for $250. Maggie, where do we go now? I'll take sevens out. All right, let's check them out. For $150, we have seven dwarfs, seven C's, seven sisters at $250. Time to make a bet. All right, looks like everybody gets a question this time. We'll start with you, Russell, for $150 in the movie. Which of the seven dwarfs is the only one to wear glasses? Doc. Doc is right. I don't know how you remember that. Mark, for $200, in what cold sea will you find the North Pole? The Arctic Sea. Judge? Yes, I'll accept that. All right, thank you. Yeah, there's Arctic Ocean or Sea, and uh, we're fine with that. Maggie, for $250. The women's Ivy League colleges are traditionally known as the Seven Sisters. Which of these schools is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts? Redcliffe. You're right for $250. You retain control, Maggie. A couple of subjects left. Hey, mister. Hey, mister, it is. We have Mr. Hyde, Mr. Smith, and Mr. Spock. All right, interesting combination. And everybody's going for Mr. Spock. That doubles the value of everything up there. That makes this one worth $500. Stand by, folks. Mr. Spock's mother, Amanda, is an Earthling. His father, Sarek, is from what planet? Russell. Vulcan. Vulcan is right. Do you wish to proceed with the others? I'll take Mr. Hyde. 
Mr. Hyde for $300. In literature, Mr. Hyde was the creature who embodied the dark side of the respected physician, Dr. Jekyll. In what city did they live? London. London's right. Want to go for that $400 one? Let's try it. All right. In the 1939 film, Mr. Smith goes to Washington, a naive but honest fellow triumphs over a cynical politician. Who played the naive Mr. Smith? Jimmy Stewart. You're right, sir, for $400. That brings you right up there neck and neck with Mark and Maggie. You get a little catching up in a second. Russell, where do we get? We only got one, right? <laughs> if you don't want to go there, I'm in a lot of trouble. We have people, places, and politics. Please select one and make your way. All right, the $200 question, Maggie, on places. Name the region where two-thirds of Argentina's population lives and which translates into English as the plains. Pampas. Pampas is right for $200. Russell and Mark for $250. In 1974, the Western Hemisphere had its first female president. She was the third wife of Argentinian strongman Juan Perón. What was her first name? Russell. Ava? That is incorrect. It was Isabel. I'm sorry. I can't turn it over, and that's going to cost you for an incorrect answer. But we'll be back in just a moment to play the second half of the game, and you know what happens then. We double the value of all of our questions. See you in a moment. All news and current events questions are verified by Newsweek magazine. And now, let's get back to the challengers. Thank you, Don Moore, very much. Uh, welcome back. Uh, Mark, you're out in front by a smidgen, $2,200. Russell at $1,850. Maggie at $1,300. The nice thing about this is you're all great players, so this thing could change like that. Uh, we double the values of all of the questions here in the second round. And here are the six categories we're going to be playing with. We have the chess championship, math quiz, Washington's three marks on the video wall, TV this week, and aviation grace. Maggie, it's your choice. Aviation grace, have to. Uh, yes, in your line of work, uh, $300 controversial, courageous, and political are the choices, folks. Make your wager. All right, we'll go for the $300 question. Mark and Russell, stand by for this one. What outspoken army general and early advocate of a separate air force was court-martialed in 1925 for his controversial views? Billy Mitchell. Oh, how did that happen? Russell? Billy Mitchell. Yeah, I'm very sorry. Oh, I, I didn't call oh. on you when you oh. spoke out, Mark. I'm oh. afraid that's going to cost you. Russell, you get it. And we go now to Maggie for $500. Name the late four-star general who commanded the Strategic Air Command for nine years before becoming Air Force Chief of Staff in 1961. LeMay. LeMay is correct for $500. You maintain control of the round. Where do we go? Oh, how about TV this week? TV this week? For $300, we have ABC. For four, CBS. And for five, NBC. It's time to make a bet. All right, for $400, Mark, you can name the actress who's hosting the Honeymooners anniversary special tonight on CBS, if you can name the actress who played Alice Cranden. Meadows? Meadows is right. Audrey, her first name. Russell and Maggie for $500. You can name the basketball star who will appear tonight on NBC's Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, if you can name the star guard of the Detroit Pistons. Russell? Isaiah Thomas. That is correct for $500. <laughs> Russell, which one of these last four? Uh, let's go with three marks on the video wall. Our three marks on the video wall comprising Mark Harmon, Mark Twain, and St. Mark. Time to bet. Every one of you going for the Mark Twain question, that means the value's doubled. That'll put it up there at $800 on this question. Stand by. An American factory superintendent who travels back to the time of King Arthur is the subject of a popular Mark Twain novel. The superintendent was a Yankee from what state? Russell. Connecticut. Connecticut is right. Mm. Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur scored, of course. You want to continue on with the other marks or pass them by? Let's go with Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon for $600. Before being named one of the sexiest men alive, actor Mark Harmon played the role of Dr. Caldwell on what TV drama? St. Elsewhere. That is correct. Now, feeling good about your luck? You want to go to St. <laughs> Mark? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by, then, for $1,000. Name the city that is home to St. Mark's Cathedral and was historically referred to as the Queen of the Adriatic. Moscow. No. <laughs> Venice. It is. That's a costly one. That takes it down by $1,000. You're still ahead. Nothing to be lost, and you have the choice of the last three. 
let's go with uh, Washington's. Washington's. We have presidents, mountains, and novels. Three to five hundred dollars. Higher the value of the tougher. All right, two of you going for the novel question. We'll move to that in a moment. Mark for four hundred dollars. Located in the White Mountains of New England, in what state would you find Mount Washington? New Hampshire. That is right for four hundred dollars. Russell and Maggie for five. Name the expatriate American author who wrote of his native New York in the novel Washington Square. Sorry, but that, that's uh, Henry James is the answer we're looking for. Mark, which one of the last two? Chess Championships. Chess Championships. Uh, these questions are all based on the World Chess Championships, which are currently underway. And the first question, valued at $300, is the game, the feud, and the finale. Everybody in for a wager. We'll go to the $400 question, Russell and Maggie. According to Kasparov, years ago, Anatoly Karpov tried to derail Kasparov's chess career by using his influence with what Soviet Communist Party leader? Russell? Brezhnev. Brezhnev is right for $500 mark. The first 12 games of the World Chess Championship took place in New York. The next 12 are in what French city? Lyon. You are correct, sir, for $500. <laughs> Mark, the last one is math quiz. Let's reveal the questions together. We have algebra equations, geometry, formulas, and trigonometry terms. Oh, I love this category. This is mine. Forget it. Which one do you want, folks? All right. For $300, Russell, what is the value of x in the formula 2x times 5 equals 20? 10. No, sir. It was 2. Maggie and Mark, for $500, in trigonometry, what important ratio takes its name from the Latin word meaning to touch? Maggie? Cosine. I'm sorry, it was tangent, and we cannot turn it over, therefore it cost you some money on that one, but that little sound effect tells you that we're about to move into our final challenge of the day. If you're ready, here is your final challenge of the day. It is the Ronald Reagan Memoir. And this will be a really interesting situation. Take a look at what they have over there. Mark out in front with $3,500, closely followed by Russell. It's going to be up to Maggie to head him off at the pass, and she'll be trying to do that right after this. Don't go away. We're going to be right back. Players today receive a Citibank Visa account with all the distinct benefits and exclusive services that make it. America's most widely used Visa card. And now, back to the final challenge, and your host, Dick Clark. Thank you, Don. The final challenge category, folks, as you know, is uh, Ronald Reagan memoirs, and these questions are all taken from his new book of memoirs titled An American Life. Let's check out the questions. The first one at even odds is on the early days. You can double your wager with summit meetings, and the tough one, the triple odds favorite, is the Contra Affair. I want to remind you once again, you'll have 15 seconds to think about this. The money displayed in front of you is yours to take home right now. If you want to wager it, that's your prerogative. The higher wager, of course, the highest one gets the question. The challenge is yours. players have locked in their choices. Maggie, we'll start with you. For 1300 what did you do? I took summit meetings for 1000 All right, and let's turn to you, Russell, with $3,150 in the till. What was your wager? Sorry, Maggie, I also took summit meetings for $3,000. He's got that one for sure. Maggie, that'll hold you there for a moment. We don't know yet. Mark might take the same thing. What are you going to do, sir? I took the Contra Affair for $3,200. Oh, all right. We've got a race going. Now, Maggie... I got to remind you, if both of these gentlemen run into bad luck and fail, you will be the winner. So it's not over yet. And remember, today's players, today's champion, will move into the finals of our Tournament of Champions, and that starts on Thursday of this week. Good luck. We'll start, uh, Russell, with you, first of all. You wagered $3,000 at double the odds, a grand total of $9,150 rides on this one. At the 1986 Summit, Gorbachev, seem willing to agree to drastic arms reductions if Reagan would agree to the elimination of the particular defense program. Reagan refused to give up that program and the summit ended. For $9,150, by what three letters do we know that program now? FDI. You are right, sir, for 
$150. Mark, it's still quite possible. You wager 3,200 to triple the odds, a grand total of $13,100. If you're right, you've won it. When newspapers publish stories about illegal CIA activities in Central America, Reagan asked his CIA director about them. The director told him that the articles were wrong or distorted, and Reagan now says, quote, I accepted that. For $13,100, name Reagan's CIA director. Webster? No, sir, William Casey. I'm sorry, Russell. Oh, Russell. You did it again. Congratulations. Look at that, $9,150. Maggie, the $1,300. Mark takes the short end of 300 Congratulations to you, sir. You're going to be back with us on Thursday of this week to meet two other finalists as we continue our special Tournament of Champions here on the Challengers. Three great players coming up tomorrow. Don't you dare miss it. We'll see you then for now. Dick Clark. Oh. contestants today will receive how do you get the taste of chocolate with only eight calories with sugar-free cocoa mint the great chocolate taste from Bellamint and get your whole wash fresh and clean at a refreshingly low price arm and hammer laundry detergents liquid or powder from the freshness experts and jerky french fried onions the easy way to liven up your family's meals jerky's unique crunch and onion flavor makes the difference and new Niagara professional finish heavy spray starch for that fresh from the cleaners look and Mon Cherie, rich, rich milk chocolate combined with the choicest nuts. Surrender to Mon Cherie. You'll love the difference. Would you like to boldly go where no one has gone before in the privacy of your own home? Well, now you can. Every weekday afternoon at 4, join the crew of the Enterprise on Star Trek The Next Generation. Today's episode, Encounter at Farpoint. That's the premiere episode where the crew is condemned to death. Catch it at 4 today. And for some real close encounters, watch The Young and the Restless next. This is Don Morrow speaking. The Challengers is a Ron Greenberg production in association with Dick Clark Productions.